Hello everyone, welcome to Young Innovators. In this video, we will explore the simple concepts behind electronics, robotics and mechanics and see how we can build and simulate the circuits even without having a physical components with us. So before we begin, let me tell you what you will be learning in this course. We will learn to build a line follower robot model. A line follower robot as the name says follows the line drawn. It uses the multiple sensors to sense the line or path drawn. Line follower is also called as a path follower. To build a model, we need to understand the different electronic components like motors, sensors, microcontroller and their automation. We will also be learning about hardware and software parts of Arduino microcontroller and how to use it and how to code the microcontroller in our further videos. However, today we have few software tools on which we can build and simulate the circuits virtually. In this video, we shall look into one such tool known as Tinkercad. So what is Tinkercad? How it can be used to build a circuits and simulate them? Tinkercad is a free online simulator that runs on a web browser. It is simple to use for circuit designing and 3D modeling for the beginners. It, it is worked on virtual platform. Founded by Kai Beckman and Miko Menon in the year 2011 and purchased by Autodesk in the year 2013. It acts as a very good alternative to many other 3D modeling software such as SketchUp or Fusion 360. As it provides easy to use the tools to simulate many circuits using breadboard etc. In this video, we shall learn about the basics of Tinkercad circuits. Now, let us see why we Tinkercad is an easy to use tool for creating digital designs and 3D printing of physical objects like different shapes, vehicles, furnitures etc. It is free of cost and it can be accessed anywhere using any web browser like Chrome etc. Now let's see what Tinkercad screen looks like, what are the tools in it and how to use them. To know about this, we will go to the official website of the Tinkercad using www.tinkercad.com on our web browser. So let's go to Google and type tinkercad.com in the drops me to the official page of Tinkercad where we have to provide the name and email ID to access the software. On the right hand side of the official Tinkercad page, click on the option join now. Once clicked, the page will now redirect me to the another page to create a personal account for the software. Create your personal account, click on sign in with the Google option. Once done, it will directly land me to the Tinkercad main sheet. The main sheet displays a few options on the left side like a 3D design, circuits, code blocks and lessons. Choose the required one and click on it. We shall choose circuit as we will be working on electronic circuits and its simulations. By clicking on the circuit, the page shall re redirect us to a new circuit worksheet. This circuit worksheet displays a few electronic components and elements which are called as the tools to design the circuits. At the top left corner of the worksheet, next to Tinkercad symbol, a small title bar is seen where we can name or provide a title for the circuit that we want to design. Main toolbar provides the list options from the left to right on the top left, namely rotate, clockwise or anti-clockwise, delete, notation and visibility. And on to the right options like a code to create a program, start, simulate to start the program, export through which we can export the circuit, share to share the files with our friends or anyone through mail. Below the toolbar, we have another tab called as electronic components. In this tab, we find a various electronic components using which we can build different circuits on the worksheet. Now, let's learn on how to design and simulate a circuit in Tinkercad. So, let me choose a few components and design simple circuits. Let's start circuiting. Choose a bulb and place it horizontally or vertically on the worksheet as shown. Now 
Now we shall choose a battery and place it on our worksheet. Now click on either of the components terminal to extend or drag the wires. To check the working of the circuit, click on the start simulation option and check if the bulb glows. Yes, my circuit is working. Similarly, let's create another circuit by adding the switch. You can choose Here, I am choosing a slide, switch from the components and placing it on the worksheet. Complete the circuit by connecting the first, the battery to the bulb, bulb to the slide, switch and then switch to the battery. Now, click on the start simulation to check the working of the circuit. And yes, my circuit is working. Now slide the knob on the switch to either side on and see the bulb turn off and on. By doing this we understand the working of slide switch. This was a simple circuit design. Similarly, we can build more advanced and complex circuits along with Arduino programming using the Tinkercad tool.